Now let's hop into our time machine and visit World War II, where the stakes were pretty darn high. Thanks to the war, millions of Europeans found themselves playing the world's worst game of who's hungrier, especially those who had escaped concentration camps. Back in the day, some super curious doctors were just dying to know the ultimate way to feed folks who were like, on the brink of starvation. I mean, talk about a wild Friday night, right? So what did these doc scientists do? They actually made a bunch of people go hungry. For science, of course. Today, this gastronomical adventure is known as the starvation experiment. Did you know that feeding a starving person too quickly can be super dangerous? Yeah, I'm not kidding. When someone hasn't eaten well for a long time, their body goes into survival mode, messing up the balance of electrolytes and fluids. So if you suddenly stuff them with food, it can cause heart, lung, and muscle issues. This scary situation is called refeeding syndrome. And it's no joke. It could be deadly. But here's the kicker. The American Psychological Association, APA, said that the experiment didn't exactly give researchers the results they wanted. Why? Well, the war in Europe ended at the same time, leaving Allied doctors without a plan to help starving Europeans. The experiment's results were published in a booklet called Men and Hunger, a Psychological Manual for Relief Workers, in 1946. 